Cedar Bayou is a natural tidal inlet that historically connected Mesquite Bay to the Gulf of Mexico. It was closed to prevent oil from the Ixtacuan oil spill from reaching the Texas mainland in 1979. These tidal passes are important for providing juvenile fish, shrimp, and crabs that are born offshore with access to nearshore seagrass bed nursery areas. Nearly 75% of commercially important species in the Gulf depend on seagrass beds for some stage of their development. This makes tidal inlets imperative for migrations in a healthy, productive Gulf ecosystem. This footage was captured using a camera mounted on an epibenthic sled, which is a type of net used to sample seagrass beds. This study monitors 14 sample sites located from Aransas Pass to South San Antonio Bay. Three sled poles are taken at each of the 14 sampling sites. Two sampling trips are conducted for each of the three sampling seasons, totaling 252 samples per sampling year. Each of the individual toes is preserved and taken to the lab. Water quality measurements are also taken at each site in order to determine if changes occur once the inlet is reopened. Once at the lab, a technician will collect every organism from the sample. Some toe samples have over 4,000 organisms in them, so this can be a very time-consuming process. Once the initial sorting is complete, another research technician checks to make sure that no organisms were missed, thus ensuring that we use accurate data. After the sorting is complete, all organisms are identified and measured. Density data is obtained from these species counts. Measurement data is used to determine organism maturity level and life stage. All of this information is important for determining the value of mesquite-based seagrass nursery habitat before and after reopening Cedar Bayou. Cedar Bayou is a very important part of South Texas's natural history and heritage. It's been my pleasure and honor to work on this project and to help ensure that this bayou is around for future generations to enjoy. 